Hello, it's Keith for KMA's Corner. How are you doing today? I just logged into my world and I got really scared for a second. This wall that's behind me right now with the coal was completely gone and I had a chunk air all the way down to bedrock. All the way into the void. And I've had that happen before in other worlds and I was like, oh, patooties. My world is corrupted. What the F do I do? Which means that after I'm done recording this, today, I am going to back up the world. Remind me, back up the world. Hmm. Well, at least when I watch this to edit it, I might remind myself. So what were we doing? We were doing this lovely crap. And I've run out of these beautiful andesite things that most of this build is for. I don't even know why I'm taking it out. I am going to go down into the mine and mine myself some andesite so I can finish at least the uh, entryway and the door. So that is, we'd like to mine that stuff, but I need to step on that. Let's see if there's any andesite in here. In here. So I'm hoping you guys, no, not gravel, I've got too much of you already. I hope um, you are liking the little bits that I've shown. Um, the people that I know personally or internet friends. Um, and I figured out how to finally say this guy's name. I was calling him F uh, me X, and I wasn't sure what to call him. And uh, little did I know, he had a video. And he says, go check out my video because I actually say how to say my name. And once I figured it out, I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm such a derp. I should have known that already. Um, he's XO. And his name is XO Be Me. <laughs> I don't know how that, you know, I'm thick-headed sometimes. And that is what happened there. A little thick-headedness. <laughs> And if you're wondering why I'm a little wired right now, don't worry, it will go away. Um, I like literally walk in the, walked in the door from work and I have like two hours to kill and I'm like, oh my gosh, I can actually record. There's um, my fiance, she is still recovering from her illness, um, scabies, and when she's taking a nap right now. So I can basically not be, I've told you in past videos, I feel a little weird recording with people right outside my door here. I, so I quiet down and I be all quiet and shy because I, I don't know, I'm just that way, I'm really insecure. It's a main issue with me. But anyways, uh, I don't have to worry about her being outside right now because I know she's sawing wood in the other room. I can hear it. She's being pretty productive with that wah, with that wah, with that saw cutting. So, uh, <laughs> I guess I didn't realize this, but yesterday the uh, video, how much do I have now? 64, 64, 18. I got some good stuff. Okay. How do I get out of this little crazed hole? I think it's over here. Um, Right before I had my first death, I'm going to steal this stuff because it's right here. I started talking about living in Massachusetts. And what had happened, I said, well, Massachusetts. I was talking about living in Florida. And uh, then I brought up Massachusetts and I died and I completely forgot, which I do a lot. So, you guys, you know, keep on top of me. Well, not literally on top of me, but let me know if I start a subject and I just move on without saying anything about a subject because that happens to me a lot because my mind is going faster than my, oh, words do. So, usually when I'm talking, I'm already on two or three subjects down the line in my head, but it just doesn't come out of my mouth fast enough.
So I may like skip subjects by accident. And when I do and you want to hear me complete a subject, please, you know, get on top of me. Tell me, hey, Keith, tell me more about Massachusetts. And that's what happened. Somebody said, hey, Keith, what about Massachusetts? <laughs> well, I grew up north of Boston in an itty bitty town. And that's all I'm going to tell you about Massachusetts. Okay, I guess I'll tell you more. And um, it's different than Florida, majorly different. As in, um, when you go outside and there's trees around and it's kind of windy, you can hear the wind blowing through the trees. It's almost like listening to waves at the ocean. It's really soothing. And I never realized this until I went back to Massachusetts and visited. I'm like, what is that noise? And it was the leaves blowing in the trees with the wind. And it is, oh, God, do I miss that. Whoops. Because we don't have leaves down in Florida. If we do, there's more stuff down here. Excellent. This is going to turn into another caving episode, isn't it? Oh, my God. It is. Unless there's torches over there. Please. No. I'm not caving hell. Caving hell. Um. And there's also something called seasons. Seasons are pretty awesome. Um. In Florida, we have four seasons. Hot. Hotter. Even more warm. Or hot. And hottest. And, oh my god, I can't believe it's this damn hot. Uh, and if that sounds like an understatement, um, or an overstatement, I should say, it really isn't. It is just hot, hot, and hot. Give you an idea. Um, yesterday, the town I grew up in, in Massachusetts, when I woke up, was 48 degrees. Which is magnificently perfect in every way. But, the, what is up here? Is it just a, okay, there's nothing up there. Um, which is, you know, perfect weather. And that high down here in Florida, same day, 93. Feels like 97. I'm sorry, I'd rather, you know, be 40, that's it? Come on, really? Okay, I believe you. That was kind of shitty. I'd rather deal with the um, little coolness because you can always put on clothes. There's a certain point where you can't take off any more clothes unless you're going to get arrested. And that's kind of like Florida. It's pretty... There is caves... So that is really cool about Massachusetts. Um, another cool thing, everything is historic. Not that I like history, but it's nice architecture. I mean, you can't help but love... Why is there light here? Is that just... Okay, well, I'm just making sure there's nothing that I should be worried about. Ah. Here... In Florida, where I live, the town I live in, give you an idea, was made into a town in 2012. <laughs> Just like three years ago. The town in Massachusetts that I lived in was made a town in 1648, I think it was. I see you. I guess I'm going to come after you. Don't hit me. Come on, let me get up. Come on. Yeah, you missed, you suck. So, having... Nah. Having the historic value um, in Massachusetts is pretty freaking awesome. Uh, even when I moved on and I moved out of the town I grew up in, 
I die. There's more? Where? Hopefully there's a spawner. I won't be that lucky. Uh, what was I just saying? Hey! Um, I'm listening for the skellies, if you're wondering. I think I might have found one. Oh. Hmm. I hear you. I see you, too. So just having historic things is great. Um, oh, that's what I was going to say. The town I had moved to from the town I grew up in, um, right down the street, um, about a quarter mile from where I lived, was the oldest church in America. And if you're wondering what town that was, I spent a huge part of my life. Uh, let's cut this in half. We can get rid of you. Oh, I don't even have 13 of those. Okay. Get. Um, oops. Sorry, inventory stuff. You get the gist. Um, the town I grew up in. And you can do the research. I should give away a prize for this, but I don't have enough money to give away prizes. Um, had the oldest uh, fair in America. Still running fair. That's the town I grew up with. If somebody wants to um, try and figure out what town that was, go right ahead. You can look it up. Just Google it. Oldest fair in America. And you will find out which town where I grew up. Do I need space for this too? Uh, what do I want to get rid of? Let's get rid of some diorite. So history was all over the place. Even though, you know, in high school, I was just like, yeah, screw history. Anything with memorization, basically, I was like, screw it. Um, unfortunately, uh, that's how I was also with languages. Uh, my specialty was Francais. Parlez-vous Francais? But I failed the class because it dealt with memorization, and my memory is horrible, as you guys can tell. So, XO, yes, I do know a little French. I'm pretty sure you at least... I don't know where you're from, but my guess is that you are at least from France or French Canadia, French Canadian, like Quebec or Ontario. That's my guess, XO. You can correct me or whatever. But I did like your video, by the way. Your video of the tour of Athens MC and what you have done is pretty awesome. Um, hmm. Hmm. Oh, I can do this. Yeah. I should go. Ugh. I can't believe this. I still... Is this where you've been the whole time? Jerk. So yeah. Um, other things in Massachusetts, like in Florida. I mean, you have bugs in Massachusetts, but in Florida, everything is stings you and is venomous, even ants. And... Aww... Really? Oh, I got a flame bow. That's nice. Totally forgot about that. So, like, in Florida, you see a bug, you run the other direction. Oh, really? You're going to come at me again? A little bow hit? Yeah, that's right. I bow hitted you. In Massachusetts, you see a snake? Don't worry. You can play with a snake. It might bite you, but it's not poisonous. In Florida, get see a snake, you go the other direction. See a spider, you go in the other direction. Um, you don't have to worry about poisonness and stinging things unless it's a bumblebee in Massachusetts. Uh-huh. 
Come on, let me put it, let me place it. I don't want to get wet, I mean burned. <laughs> I don't mind getting a little wet. Probably still wet from playing in the puddles earlier. So, wildlife, Massachusetts wins. Yes, we do have, and even President Obama is down here today. We have the Everglades, but where I actually live in Florida, what? Oh, okay. I was thinking this water was a different color, like a jungle water, and I needed some vines badly. So even uh, Obama, he's doing a speech from the Everglades today. I mean, even just going into the water. I mean, down here, you got the crocs, alligators. You actually have both. Some people will argue with you with that, but you do have both. Ah, Massachusetts, we don't have anything like that. Nothing that's going to come out of the water and eat you. Um, well, okay. I'm forgetting about one little thing. Uh, Jaws. <laughs> I guess we have sharks. But I guess, you know, there's not going to be a shark NATO, so you don't have to worry when you're driving around in your car being killed by a shark. Um, what am I going to get rid of? I almost really want to get rid of this axe. I should have really prepared. I'll get rid of the small amount of... I'm going to be using a lot of... Well, I'll be cutting a lot of stone, too. So, Massachusetts wins wildlife. Um, Florida obviously wins winter. But, it's kind of funny. I... <laughs> when I... When we go into winter here, it's... Like January. <laughs> Oops. Hold on, hold on. Let me get my thoughts together. I guess I'm gonna have to throw away you too. Um. So when we go into winter in Florida, it's kind of like September. Oh wow, it feels like I don't know. Florida winter. <laughs> We just have different shades of summer down here is what I'm saying. Like the winter time in where I am in Florida is exactly like a Montreal summer. So an average winter day in Florida, where I am at least in Florida, is the same temperature as Montreal is in the height of summer. Ugh, this cave. I don't want to be doing this. I want to be building. But it's just me. I have to clean out these ugh, caves or else I will be nutso. So right now uh, in Florida, we are like... Hi, buddy. I just hear oh I did hey hmm this is kind of aggravating what am I gonna dump to get this let's just get our odd piece of wood um but Massachusetts you can't beat a Massachusetts summer. Yeah, it does once in a while get really humid. But it's only for like a week or so. Oh, hi. Um, in Florida? Well, it'll take the hottest, most humid week in Massachusetts. Oh, I see where I am now. I'm going to try and find out where this water source is and kill it. So let's do some swimming for a little bit. Um, take the hottest week in Massachusetts. And that week is what it's like from basically June till September in Florida. Or at least where I am in Florida. It's like... Going outside, it's like breathing steam. It's kind of disgusting. 
but you can't beat the winters down here. Um, but uh, in all actuality, though, if I didn't have to worry about money and finances and stuff, aww, I would move so fast and so quickly out of this con uh, country. <laughs> 40 and slip. Out of this state, it's not even funny. You know, screw all you. I am done. I'm going back. I don't want to be caving still. Whoa, I came awfully close to dying there. <laughs> 